<clears throat> I'm choosing Tails for Skaven. And I am kicking off. I'm not kicking just, up yet. So I'm setting, yeah, yeah, I'm setting up. I'm setting up yet. Yeah, yeah go ahead and set up. And that's because I'll have to speed it up to catch you because it's going to start from the very beginning. Gotcha. All right. And we are at the pitch. Ooh, classic underworld pitch. Perfect setup. Yeah. Well, where else would we have this cup? All right. So I'm. I've caught up to the the Womp Rat setting up right now. That is me. And then, Mike, you haven't set up yet? Or you've already set up? I have not yet. I am receiving. Ooh, receiving at the start of the match. All right, guys, you're uh, free to go ahead and continue. No problem. He's still setting up. I see you're setting up your your favorite cross there. <laughs> yeah, let's see how good how, how good this does this time. Um, it works so well I'm last time. <laughs> I'll probably audible out of it halfway through the halfway through the quarter, but uh, we're always going to start with it. All right. All right. So there you see the the Warpstone Romp Rats have set up for their yeah, drive okay. to the goal. Now. Generally, as a bashing team in Blood Bowl, one of the common strategies is known as the 2-1 grind. And that is where if you uh, give up receiving the ball. You let the other team score right away. Then you get the ball, score on the first half, and the second half you get the ball and you concentrate on holding it that whole half and just scoring at the end. The idea behind this is that as the Bashy team, you can injure more of the agility team's players. So it's harder for them to score midway through the match. Whereas in the beginning of the match, they just have so many resources, they can't not score. Those are some uh, dodgy pass you have there. Anyway, you can see here, Mike is now setting up to receive the ball. So, it would be my guess that Mike is setting up for a 2-1 grind. Actually, let me keep this sped up until it actually kicks off here. Oh. And here's the kick. Here comes the kick. There we go. Yeah, we're all Oops, synced up. A good way to start. We've got a blitz. Oh! First and round the, blitz! Uh, always the question. The blitz uh, with the rat ogre or not? Stone Romp Rats getting a uh, early turn here right at the beginning of the match. If you're kicking off, Blitz is the absolute number one thing you want to have happen. Gives you a whole turn of movement. Uh, it allows for some very crazy uh, kickoff situations. I should say, actually, um, I got a little backwards there. So, yeah, since uh, XXYYXX is receiving, uh, he can't set up for a 2-1 grind scenario. So that's a little unusual. If if the Warpstone Round Rats are able to get the ball off this blitz, it is going to be absolutely devastating. Right. 
See the ball is still in the air. I'm not sure where it's going to land. Now, one of the rules of Blitz says that the, uh, you know, the, the teammates that are uh, in tackle zones can't be the ones blocking. Oh, and there it is. Look. Man, the Warpstone Rap Rats have the ball in a perfect cage formation. Getting picked up by Nizik. Block, diving, tackle, and sidestep. This, this could be very bad. Okay, it is now XXYY, XX team, uh, team turn. However, as you can see, he has, both of his Chaos Warriors are currently engaged in the line of scrimmage. It'll be hard for them to get out. Uh, his other players are very far away. The question is if they'll even be able to make it. trying to free up this Chaos Warrior unless he's already gone. That is a rough start. Yeah, that was the that was the unholy cross at its best. see here choosing to blitz on the weakest member here unfortunately only getting pushed results that is not what he needs this is chaos warrior here standing up dangerously close to being pushed out of the field oh the minotaur wild animaling not good. Uh, however, with uh, only asking him to move, uh, there's a 50-50 chance of Wild Animal kicking in. Um, wild Animal, you need to block or uh, blitz to uh, get a one chance. Unfortunately, that's not going to push him out of the field. And uh, he's moved another player. An easy way to push him off the field. Um, like, this Chaos Warrior uh -oh. is in trouble. In fact, I think it's happening right now. Oh, no, it's not happening right now. Uh-oh. Block saving the Rat Ogre. Oh, and that KO taking out a vital Chaos Warrior. Not sure why he went with that. Uh, I would have chosen to get my the opposing player off the pitch. Oh, here it comes now with the Blitz. And that is two Chaos Warriors, both KO'd. That is a serious reduction in strength for XXYYXX. And I think, yes, there it is, the first touchdown. <laughs> When they were kicking off, no less. Looks like those Chaos Warriors are going to get up. Well, that was a good turn of uh, luck there. Yeah, that, that, yeah, exactly. Uh, that was, uh, that was, a, that was a lot on that one, so... 
but I'll take it. So we can see here we have XXYY XX. Looks like they're setting up here, but they should actually be uh, setting up second. Wow, turn two. Right now we have the Whop Rat setting up, and there's the kick. And looks like we just have a standard weather change there. And the ball has landed deep in the end zone. There's a lot of guard for that minute guard. Oh! Sleepy time. Rat Ogre out. Now, how many Bloodweiser babes did you get? Two. I don't, that don't mean it just means I roll once, that's all. But I did get two Bloodweiser babes, a bribe uh, for anybody that jumps on my guy, and then um, a uh, wizard. And an extra rat. Excuse me. It's a shame I could have muted my mic right there. Now, one thing, although many of his players have claws, most of these Skaven uh, are not well armored. So it's, it's mostly useless against the Skaven. Beastman thrower. And there is a small throw. Moving in to support here in the middle. And then I think we're going to have a classic cage formation. Oh, no, no. Choosing to go with a, a light cage with the, the back uh, not guarded. It's going to be interesting. All right, so Control has gone back over to the Skaven. Let's see what they do here. I want to point out, gutter runners, gutter runners, gutter runners. You can just see how valuable these players are. Although, they're really not good at blocking. So I'm not sure why he chose to do them when he is planning to defend. Choosing to blitz with one as well. Oh, because of strip ball. And there we go. Ball is already on the ground. Now, unfortunately, uh, these are not the elves. They can't leap over people. They don't have quite the maneuverability to get into and out of uh, blocking players' uh, formations there. So... He's going to have to run the old-fashioned way, and I don't think he has anybody who can actually get to the ball. Not with it bouncing there. Oh, here we go. Nizik. Now, just moving to uh, put a tackle zone. That's going to hurt. Uh-oh. Oh! Looks like 
failed dodge there with another KO. And that is turnover. Alrighty then. So let's see where we are at this point here. Got a couple different viewers now at this point. So silent. Let's see here. Okay, looks like we're starting off with some line of scrimmage brawling. You know, as a bashing player, you really want to hurt these gun the runners. Oh! Yeah, there goes the kicker. And there is our first actual casualty of the game. And he is off the pitch. Now, luckily, your kicker usually is not a terribly valuable player. Um, just a basic lineman. That worked out well. Oh, blitz and pick up the ball. Interesting. They do have a three agility, so they are not bad at picking up the ball. Fortunately, sidestep really makes it hard to knock down these players. They really get in just absolutely annoying places. Alrighty. What is he gonna do with this guy? Like, I see, got a big beefy guy with the ball, but what are you gonna do with it? Okay, moving up his throwing character. Whew. Agility and strong arm. blitzing going on over here I'm just not seeing many players supporting the ball carrier I don't understand why he's not moving these two players I mean Ranagor should be right up there in the cage is he just assuming he's gonna be able to keep that uh, ball in his chaos warriors hands very confused. What is Mike doing? Okay, I see his Minotaur moving. And he's moving his Beast Man. The Gutter Runner doesn't have guard, so he won't provide tackle zones if he stands up. But he will nullify tackle zones of anybody who doesn't have guard, which is uh, quite a few players. We're just going for a loose screen here. Alright, I see he's, he's obviously setting up to accept the ball there. And there's the wizard. Unfortunately, it doesn't work, quite work out. Very early use of the wizard there. Yeah, I know. That was uh, that was not the that not what I was hoping for. And this could be really bad here too. Let's see. Oh. I'm surprised you put a strength to um, lineman on the pitch there. That helped. This is what the Skaven do best. I mean, this situation here is exceedingly bad for the Chaos. 
I don't even know if they have anybody who can get over there. I mean, the problem with all these gutter runners in Blood Bowl. Is they just punish everything you do. All right, we're back here to Chaos's turn. Let's see, can he even make that? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Going for it. Oh, he is short. He doesn't have enough movement to catch that gunner runner. About Rangor. One. Oh, nope. Here we go. Yeah. He's given up on catching him. It looks like we are going to see the Gutter Runners score once more. Really now the only question is, is he going to kill up the clock? Oh! That is one dead That's lineman. That's one dead rat. Although, okay, he is, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to do much. With dodge, that do that, that uh, tackle zone movement is going to be nothing. Oh, not where I would have put him. I would have put him there. Much better spot there. Why'd you put him there and not one more diagonally? Who, me? Uh, Mike. So if you put him one more farther, you would have made him have to dodge out of more tackle zones. I have a feeling this guy's going, my guy's going to trip right now. Because I just pulled some shenanigans the turn before. Okay, yep, there it is. There's the touchdown. Did not really matter. Yeah, see, if you moved him one more, you could have forced him to make more one more dodge roll. Mike, did we lose you? Uh, I'm not sure. He could be uh, chewing his fingers in uh, anger over my luck, but. Hmm. Guys, we seem to have lost Mike in voice chat. Unfortunately, I can't fix it without exiting out of here, so... And you'll see here, no kicker, so no, no flying T. Mm. So really, your whole strategy with the kicker... It's getting the ball near your defensive formation? Uh, it depends on how they set up, yeah. But, so it's either I go... With, with his team, it's tough because he's got that... Any other Chaos team, I usually just kick, uh, usually just kick deep and, and flood the zone uh, because they Chaos teams usually overload the line and try to cause casualties. 
but he's got that thrower, which makes it difficult. Like, that thrower is an anomaly on the Chaos team. So I'll usually set up like that and see how they set up, and I'll either pooch kick it and uh, hope for a blitz, which actually happened on the first turn, or I'll I usually kick deep and just send four gutter on his back there, you know? And usually uh, it, you, you're at least getting one shot at him before they can cage up. And with Skaven, that's really all you need. And fast teams, uh, now that I'm not playing any more fast teams, I set up like that so they score quickly. That's really the only reason I set up like that. So I, I, I give them the field so they score on the second turn or the third turn, so I have, I have more turns to score, score during my, uh, you know, uh, for myself. That's all. I, I don't think I was, I couldn't stop the high elf team from scoring no matter what. Not with all that. Uh, especially Skaven, because there's only four gutter and there's only four guys with agility for And then the wizard, I use, I will use a wizard uh, anytime I can go up by two touchdowns. So if I'm up by one and I see an opening to go up by two, I'll, I'll use that every time. Or you know, that's that's usually the only way I use a, a wizard. I, I hardly ever use it to stop the opponent from scoring. Hmm. Yeah, very different from what I'm used to seeing. Most people use it for the fireball to break a cage. No, a fireball. Yeah, I mean, and I, 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 yeah, there, there. It's a, a, a rarity that I, I use a, a fireball. I'll use it on an elf team, maybe like a wood elf team, even then. But really, that's about it. Um, yeah, the breaking the cage. It's, I mean, it's a four plus to even knock one of them down. So, uh, you know, I, I just don't think I, I don't like those odds. I, I use the lightning bolt. I'd say uh, ninety-five percent of the time. With a, with, a, with a Skaven team, but obviously it's different with other teams. With Skaven, you, you, all you do is you pop the ball free and you, you know you try to recover it. Um, and usually set up the gutter when you so you have that you know you have that chance to do that. Usually I set it up so I can pop the ball free and do what I did there, you know, skitter away so they can't get a block on them, or uh, pick it up, and pass it to another one, and skitter away so you know they, they can't get you know they can't get a shot on them. And if I was if if this wasn't you know, if wasn't this wasn't a friendly at league, I would have stalled at least two turns on that that last one. Well, we are a friendly league, which you'll find that I stall turns on uh, stuff like that. <laughs> we're, we're not that. Oh, friendly. I, yeah, I, I, listen, <laughs> listen, I, I know, I, I, I just, I, I uh, when when my luck is going hot like that, I, I feel bad. Uh, Completely taking advantage because I did get pretty lucky those first two turns. Yeah. Uh, you know, very lucky. So, and it's my first uh, first first year in the league, so I'm trying to uh, not trying to make friends, but trying well, to play nice. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, scoring's not necessarily a bad thing in that situation because it is more <laughs> opportunities for you to score with how quickly you can score. Um, I think it's a different, yeah, different situation with a bashing team, which is what I usually play. Yeah, and, and he, yeah, oh, exactly, totally, yeah. And he was, and he was about to pulverize me, you know. So that's the other thing. Like he was definitely right. going to pulverize me that turn. All right, all those rats not able to make that work. Now he's using the rat ogre. Seems to be really important to get that Chaos uh, Warrior on the ground there. But I oh! Hit people a lot. First time in a long time we've seen uh, a casualty caused from a, uh, a foul there. Yeah, I don't like Chaos Warriors because of Mighty Blow and Claw. So uh, if they're on the if they're on the ground, I usually kick them. Especially when I have a bread. It's an interesting choice because you still have to get through armor. Uh, yeah, I had um, I had three guys on armor nine, so it was a six plus. So the odds were, I mean, it was better than average chance. I, I'd, I'd uh. 
break the armor, and then I have the bride. So, um, eh, who knows? I'm, ready. I, I, I'm gonna go by uh, that it worked that time. <laughs> it's definitely a, a huge change there. Yeah, yeah. So, you might want to chat at Mike in the game that his voice chat is not working. Oh, yeah, I will. Thank you very much. That's a great idea. In case he's yelling at me. cages there we go finally a proper cage coming from the chaos very late in the game it seems yeah I, I do not see myself stopping him from scoring here Chaos Warrior only has a movement allowance of five. So the one he lost. That's a terrible spot for my claw. Claw better. Can you hear me now? Hey, yes, we do my... hear you now. What happened? Uh, I'm not sure, but apparently I dropped out of voice chat, so. Nice job with the Skaven. I've been commenting on this end several times, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, I was thinking. I thought we haven't like, heard any of, it. of, of my luck. <laughs> yeah. Well, there was a few curse words, <laughs> but in general, yeah. it's well, job well done, <laughs> sir. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, definitely uh, nuffle on my side so far, but. Text loop over and over. All right, we are back to control for the Warpstone Romp Rats. And the Warpstone Romp Rats in white here. Oh, and that rat over just rushing right into that. Giant mess there to uh, take out Ranagor. Let's see, now he's Stormbrunnerman moving in. Probably gonna be a block right here. There we go. Oh, double skulls! And the reroll used, saving him. Another foul? No, no, okay. Storm Vermin moving up here. Should be a. Oh, everybody has weird names today. Let's do that. Gunner Runners moving into position. Control back to XXYYXX. Here comes the first blitz here. 
Looks like he's trying to open up a hole here on the edge. Back. Finally. Oh. Yep. Nice collarbone. One last point of strength. Now this game just got extremely dangerous for me. Are you out of apothecaries? Yes, I am, and I, <laughs> I'm out of apothecaries and have two dead, a uh, dead, and two injured. Got it. Well, you were yeah. very lucky on that casualty roll. Oh yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not, uh, I'm definitely not complaining about the Because you know, not only. Does he not become a one strength uh, player? But he gets to uh, come back on the next drive. This is true. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Wild Animal proving once again making it very hard to actually get that player to move. Yeah, I usually expect the Minotaur not to do anything about half the time. Well, you know, if it's not a block or it's not a blitz, he doesn't do anything half the time. No, that's... That is, that is actually very accurate. Sure, glad I have extra players. That's what the rule says. <laughs> can't see that is actually the rule on wild animal but basically unless you're blocking or blitzing there's a 50 50 shot he will do nothing basically he likes to fight he's a wild animal uh, attacker down and pushed oh using the reroll I guess he really needs this player to go down and he's gonna get it Gutter runner here providing a tackle zone so that he can't just stand up and blitz him. Actually, I'm not sure that's going to work in his favor. I, ooh. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, there's the turn over there. It's like a failed dodge. Warrior moving up. Really, not what I expected to see there. Ooh, I'm gonna step on him. Oh, KO'd Rat Ogre. Yeah. I usually save piling on for uh, KO re or stun results. I think it's what you had there. Yeah, no, that was a good pile on. Yeah, it's gonna minnow off the off the field. I was, I'm pretty happy about. It. Yeah, that was a good one. Unfortunately, this is your last turn. That's all right. I'm trying to pile up injuries to <laughs> reduce the number of rats on the field. <laughs> yeah. I knew it wasn't gonna score, but you know, I had to at least try and make a motion for. If I agree with him. Uh, hold on a second, Steve. I will tell you. Oh, I barely spelled apothecaries wrong there.
The wizard has already been used. That's what we're waiting on. Waiting on a diving tackle there. So now it's back to the Warpstone Romp Rats. And uh, it looks now like we're just gonna... A really stupid block. Yes, that is a stupid block because it's two dies, the uh, defender picks. Could have gone much worse, though. If there was a skull, that red over would have been going down. Or not the red over, the gunner runner. What are these guys planning? Another KO. Locks here. Work. I got somebody at the door. I'll be right. Was that you, Mike? Yeah, that was Mike. That was Mike. All right, so I'll, I'll just let my turn run. Oh well, my turn was over. So. Ah, all right. So in the half, we've got a Chaos Warrior. Oh, one of his players is not getting back up from the KO. It is lucky he has extra players there. Okay. Because all back. the rats are getting back up. I scored two more times while you can check the door. So who didn't get back up? All right, Shigoris is still out. Well, all the rats have gotten back up. That's one of the things about Skaven. Like, they are so effective at such low team values. They often get inducements. See, this uh, just really goes to show um, why I hate the Skaven. Yes, you, you, you've been very vocal about that. I have. Well, because um, they're very effective at a very low team value. Which means, like, they can do with a much lower team value what it takes other teams a lot higher team value to do. So, you tend to get a lot more inducements. Yes. Well, when I'm, I don't know, how long have you guys had these teams? I mean, I'm playing against 1900 point teams, so... Um, I think you're looking at two or three seasons. I think, Mike, is yours two or three seasons old? And this one, I have no idea. Okay. okay. I would have uh, guessed at least three. Yeah, we had a reset a little while back uh, when, when we left uh, OBBLM. This game and setting up to receive. Uh, the rat didn't catch it. Oh no! Well, he's got it now. Yeah, we had um, Dennis won like a couple years, uh, and he was playing Skaven. Um, 
And yeah, it just seemed like we, uh, you know, team value for team value, the, the Skaven seemed a lot more effective. He seems like he uh, plays with his team value a lot uh, in general. Like, he, even when his cast dwarf team, he doesn't even have cast dwarfs. You know, he has like two, right? So uh, that's odd. Like, he has, he tend, he's very, he's hobgoblin heavy on his cast dwarf team, which I find odd. Not bad, mind you, but just, just that's different. Let's see here. going on here so we've got choice creep with the ball way back in their territory are we gonna see a foul here no no foul there but we do have a blitz coming up over here on uh, Briss, who has hit the Astro Granite. I think we're gonna see. Are we gonna see dirty a dirty armor on that, that, that uh, warrior? Oh yeah, there it is. Yes, indeed. There's the uh, the, the foul there. Failed by one. I was uh, 10,000 10, gold away from getting that guy dirty player, too. That uh, loner, but alas. You should get your own dirty player. Well, they, you see what happens to the line rats. They're both dead under in the box. That's what happens to them when you give them skills. Both my uh, both my level two rats are dead, so that'll again. That's uh, kind of why the team values stay low. Hmm. Just trying to see what the. What's gonna happen here is we've gone back to XXYY, hmm. and he really just has a mess up the here. The rich target the environment. Rich. And I'm not sure which one to go. For. <laughs> which which rat is smush? Exactly. Let's see here. I definitely gave you a lot of options there. You have, you have. It's very distracting. Let's see where the play is gonna develop here. Um, I mean, obviously he wants to get at the gutter runner. But sending someone after the gutter runner is going to require him to uh, get players back there, and he just doesn't have much movement. He's going to stretch himself thin. So the option, the uh, the dilemma is: do you risk it and send your players deep into the territory, and possibly get a big win, or do you hang back and do a screen? I mean, with dodge, sprint, with dodge and block that uh, Trice Creep is going to be difficult to put down. Taking a lot of time to pick Defender down. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Oh. Mm. Man, I wish that I wish that guy was hurt. Oh, I wish I kicked that guy better. And there goes another gutter runner. Yep, yep. Well, you have to kill them now before they get the skills to be untouchable. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, like I want block, I... dodge, and sidestep. Um, make them very difficult to put down. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was um. Eek. 
Yeah, that's why that um, that last game I I leveled a bunch of gutter runners, which was unfortunate. Uh, the, the final game when we uh, when we we got DC, um, but what are you gonna do with that sometimes? Nice solid hit. Oh, are we gonna see an injury here? Yeah. And here is the Red Ogre trying to make a hole for uh, Trice Creep to move up through. I use the reroll, yeah. Oh, there you go. There's the hole that we're looking for. Again, remember to win or to stay in this. Mike's got to get two points within um, about six turns now. Oh, there's a failed dodge there. And the Warp Show Romp Rats now have a pretty strong cage. Um, <coughs> unfortunately, there is a oh, gutter run in there, but you the first move of the turn. No. Just used up his reroll here. So, one of the weaknesses of the cage is that you can put players on just about every member of the cage and they can't assist each other. Damn it, I forgot that only worked on Blitzing. Oh, yeah, I, I did too, to be honest. I didn't realize what was happening. I would go, well. Yeah, it's a lot. All right. Bummer. Yep. Only on Blitzing. Oh, this player's going out. Yep, off the pitch. And the KO result, too. And yeah, there we go. Trice Creep does have enough movement to make it. And he does. That is 3-0. I think my guys are coming back still. Yep, yep. Mine is slowly going the wrong way. <laughs> Injuries on the red side, but still not quite enough. This is when defense becomes nigh impossible with the rats when you don't have gutter runners. Oh, yeah. Now that you mentioned it, talking about team value, I think you're right. Because it, uh, when he was playing uh, Skaven, it took him forever to get Storm Vermin. Yeah, I mean, I think the, the Rat Ogre was the last thing I was one of the last things I bought. Uh, um, but it, what happens is the uh, the line rats just get smushed. I mean, they die non because they're agility three, so they can't dodge away, and they're AV seven, so they just get they just get killed. Um, and they, these games all go great when 
what's happening right now is happening when my gutter runners don't die immediately. Like some games we play and the gutter runners just get crushed, you know, like um, I played against uh, Dan Hell and the other orc player, um, and he just, he like the first four turns, he just knocked three of my gutter runners off of the field. Actually, the first two turns I scored, uh, so I thought it was going to be a blowout, and then he just started, he just picked apart my gutter runners, and then I, you know, was like, I was playing against an orc team with a, with a bunch of, uh, with a bunch of line rats that didn't work. Ooh, was that your good guy? Oh Man. my god. That's unreal. Oh, did somebody throw a rock? <sighs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That's unreal. And see who it hit for a little while. And then, of course, it's that guy. No, I missed it. What was the result of the rock throw? Uh, just a KO, but it was that his uh, super throwing guy. Um, uh, pretty significant. The agility for strong arm man. Yeah, I see it now. Ramador is in the KO box. An angry fan. Once it's not my dog that's barking on, uh, on the stream. <laughs> no, it's, no, that's mine. There's definitely somebody uh, in front of my house that shouldn't be there, or at least according to him, shouldn't be there. Oh no, he has not already moved. Okay. So I imagine at this point, Mike just wants to put some points on the board. I don't see how. Uh, he can possibly get uh, the points he needs to tie this up. In fact, I think it's quite impossible. Yeah, he'd have to get nothing but two turn touchdowns at this point, and that's just not not very probable. So right now, if you're Craig, you probably just want to protect your players, you know. Make sure that Mike can't get revenge and kill them so that you don't have them next season. Retaliation. <laughs> there gutter runners moving into position there we creating a block here yeah oh and there's the turnover line rat oh no actually no that wasn't a line rat was it was that a line I rat didn't even, I, that guy's strength to it and even need to put the poor yeah, little uh, That's what I thought. gutter runner next to him
just slowly marching his cage forward. Agility point there for that lineman. Control going back to the Warpstone Romp Rats. Let's see what he's going to do here. He is really starting to run out of players on the pitch. Although, luckily for him, none of them are really the important players. Go. Hello. Yeah, he's a loner too, so. <laughs> yeah, I have yeah. a feeling. No, uh, I got a feeling his gutter run is going into the stands here. Oh. Here we go. Double Skulls finally rearing its head as Nuffle declares the end of that turn. Yes, I think we're going to have a gutter runner go in the uh, stands yeah. as well. Nice fans. Hey, what what happened to uh, the uh, Lizardman player? Uh, Wes? Is that, what was that his name, Wes, yeah? Yeah. Well, he, he got ejected because he kept missing team, uh, matches. But it, it didn't happen until like, okay. the end of the season, so. Yeah, I, know, oh. I noticed at the end. Uh, another gutter runner down. I mean, we'll probably invite him again next season. Yeah. I mean, admittedly, he got a lot of warnings uh, before that happened. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know him, so I'm going to refrain from commenting, but it's, some, it's sometimes it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> I used to be in the area. Now he's in Florida in film school. Oh, yeah, where, where is he down at, um, what is that one called? Uh, I don't remember the name of it. Oh, Full Sail. Full Sail, oh, cool. I bet. I think that is it, actually. Oh, really? Is he done with that? Cool. <laughs> you know, he's still doing it, so... You know, he has these projects he has to do where, you know, they're doing productions. And that causes some issues, no, I but... It. I know it causes oh, yeah, issues, so. but you should be able to schedule an hour sometime during a whole week. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I dabble and I dabble and film myself, so I know the the stresses of it. Right. What's he doing, film or animation? Because I thought he's full sale was more animation, computer graphics. Yeah, he's doing they have, they have they have a film. Yeah, they have a film school as well. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I could be wrong about the name, but it does sound right. No, I'm I'm pretty I'm. That's the one that's in Florida. Yeah, that's a very popular one right now. Is that my only gutter runner that I have left that I just put next to your guy? Yeah. Yeah. That's too bad. Oh, 
foul him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm planning on it. <laughs> yeah, 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 might as well. Get the boots in. That guy, when you give a gutter runner uh, block, sidestep, and diving tackle, you're almost asking him to get to be laying on the ground and kicked. So, uh, well, guys, what happened? I, bla I blacked out <laughs> oh, there yeah, for a absolutely. second. Did, did anything happen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I was uh, possessed for a minute there. <laughs> The next, uh, this next turn's, this uh, next turn is gonna be pretty funny. Or the next, uh, next kickoff, since I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have no one. Oh. That's wild. So that's why I usually don't use piling on. Unless there's a, uh, unless you have a, a stunned result. Although I suppose a down result also works. Because, like, if you get a KO and you pile on, you're an idiot. Yeah, yeah. Now, unless you're just trying to, uh, unless you're really just trying to hurt the other, the other guy because you're pissed off. Um, yeah, I, I completely agree with you. But like, when I was playing Norse... My werewolves had pile on. And I think my blitzer had I it too. Like it. So like, every time somebody went down, we were dropping down and hitting them and then hopping right back up. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it was the berserkers who had piling on. And I did eventually get yeah, them to it's... one strength as well. They were, they were kind of scary. But I got tired of playing them because they would just get their their asses kicked uh, every few games. Yeah, they're one of those things that's really either really good or your whole team dies in the first three or four turns. I think I know what Mike's doing. No, I don't know what Mike's doing. But I do know he's going to put the ball in now. Oh, do I Got foul him or not? Oh, question. <laughs> foul. Turn ends. Stop. Turn over. Uh... Fractured his leg to the poor, the poor ogre. Bravo, good foul. Mm. <laughs> Finally, one to three. Yeah, a good foul. <laughs> you never know, you could get the, the clock to turn back four or five minutes in a row now, and you're fine. <laughs> now, the, yeah, the one possibly. downside about that is because we're on the uh, Blood Bowl platform, that carries over to next season. So it's a severely fractured leg. I, I Listen, I understand. Look at all my poor gutter runners. What did did anything really bad happen to them? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it's like one game yeah. here. One Not game nearly there. enough gutter runners right. have died this match. <laughs> Look at my my my, 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 my the gutter uh, runners need stunting on them so that yeah. they double yeah. injury rolls. <laughs> or t or titchy even better. Titchy and decay. Here we are at the last kickoff here. And I can only pray for <laughs> clock <to> roll back. <laughs> yeah, a few, a few of them. <laughs> like five or six, it's no big deal. No big deal. You got that. I have faith in you. I 
I mean, you got him down to seven players. Yeah, yeah but it took 16 turns to get here. That's the problem. Yep. If it had taken eight turns to get there, I would have been happier. Skaven OP, please nerf. <laughs> That's a good kick. Not what I needed. No, not what you needed, though. Unexpected there. Man, my, look, at, look at my luck. Can you believe that? I think he's gonna. Yeah, fumble the pass there. All right. XXYY have. One turn to uh, hurt some rats, and then this game is over. Interesting. I assume this is for the claw. Or to get him off the field. No, uh, yeah, no luck with that injury there. Like. Good game. Yeah, good game. I wish I'd uh, been able to beat you up a little bit faster, a little earlier, but uh, I like the results of the injury box over there. Yeah. I just wish yeah, I'd gotten it done by. Uh, got a KO there. He definitely and racked up more, uh, more star player points than me. Maybe a few, but I think you've got the. I think you've got a clear win with this Gavin team. Nicely done. No, oh, thank you very much. Uh, nice to play it twice. Absolutely. Looking forward to next time. Yeah, well, I think the combined right, the combined score was eight to one. That sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just busting balls. Uh, nice playing, man. Good job. Uh, good luck next year. You as well. Have a good one. All right, man. Yeah, take care. All right, well, congratulations. So, uh, Craig, you have won the uh, the Bash League. How does it feel? Uh, and this is probably, honestly, the greatest accomplishment of my life. Um, I just had a baby girl about two months ago, and even, you know, that doesn't even begin to compare with this. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. So your wife uh, does so not listen to his podcast and will not hear I, that I, comment then. I, I, I hope she's not on Facebook right now watching the, tw watching the Twitch. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna head down. I'm I gonna would like to remind you. And celebrate. I'd like yeah. to remind you that uh, the internet is forever, and we will be removing that clip out. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I really though, thanks everybody for having having me in the league this year. I had a lot of fun. Um, right, I will. Uh, I'll play halflings next year. There you go. <laughs> no, no, you can play right. Skaven. You can play Skaven. Um, I just have a personal right. hate for Skaven. I have no idea how to play against them still after playing this much. So, uh, that yeah, is going to well, be it for the league. Yeah. Um, we're going to be back next year around March or April. Uh, we'll uh, go into the off season here. So, um, if you're watching this and you'd like to join, of course, uh, go to BashDL.com. Uh, we'll take your signups and we'll contact you around March to uh, find out who's going to join us for that. And until then, thank you for watching, everybody. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, bud. Bye-bye.
This has been a production of Furlouge's Depot and the Blood Bowl Association serving Hampton Roads and cannot be altered or rebroadcast without the express written consent of Furlouge's Depot and the Blood Bowl Association serving Hampton Roads and the all-powerful Sir Mufti Rudy Toot Toot Void where prohibited. Consult your doctor if you experience dizziness, trouble breathing, or your left toe transforms into a beast of nurdle. Conan, what is best in life? To see the inner team before you, to cross the star blades beneath your feet, and to hear the lamentation of their fans. That is why I'll be back for the new season of Bash. Hampton Rolls Premier League of Blood Bowl! But I need you, your friends, and even your little girly poodle to sign up now. So put that cookie down now, and get your ass to bash! The website's right there, at the bottom of your screen! So what are you waiting for? Do it now!